On the morning of Friday, March 15th, when I woke up and checked the news, I was deeply saddened to see that two mosques in Christ Church, New Zealand, were attacked with many innocent worshippers gunned down and killed. In response to the tragedy in Christchurch, New Zealand, the Islamic Community Center of Laurel hosted a solidarity event. We'll be discussing the importance of unity and community interaction. After the recent tragedy in New Zealand where 50 innocent lives um, were taken, a lot of people here at our community organization were really on the edge. With the possibility of another attack still fresh in the minds of Laurel residents, especially the Muslim community, Mayor Craig A. Moe decided to have the fine men and women of the Laurel Police Force stand guard. This afternoon we come together as a community, one community, to show our solidarity and to renew our efforts and our commitment in the critical effort to rid our communities and our nation of violence and hatred. When Hassan took up the mantle as president of the ICCL, he wanted the Islamic community to have more of a presence in Laurel through positive engagement. So we said, let's open up our doors and invite everybody in the city of Laurel and the surrounding areas. Feel free to come inside and get to know who we are and let us know who, who you are so we can work together and grow bonds as a community. No one is born hateful. Hatred can only be passed on and adopted. Teach them not to fear those who are different. I've been a part of this community since I've been in a toddler. That's why I say I think we need to get our youth and our kids out here because it starts from when they're young, you know, and that they'll see the love and, you know, what our religion teaches us, you know, and it teaches us that it's okay to be different. We're all one. I had no idea what to wear or what to dress, you know, what, what to expect. And then I just come here and it's just such a nice environment. You can tell that there are kids doing projects and just so many nice people. When an act of violence happens, people like Miss Aston couldn't help but be fearful that the incident could be repeated. An act of terrorism like that against, you know, a uh, a community of your religion in a different place is so scary. Despite the fear of violence happening at another place of worship, or the ICCL, it did not stop the Laurel community from coming together. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said that darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hatred cannot drive out hatred. Only love can do that. For Laurel TV, I'm John Luke Ziffy.